Hi, in this video we'll be updating Sophos UTM9. This process is the same whether you're on an official Sophos appliance or whether you're running it on your own hardware. The first step is to go into your web browser and go to your web admin URL and log in. You can tell an update's available by looking at the version information area where you'll see this red line saying that one or more updates are available. To install the update, just click on the notification. This window lets you know what current firmware version you're on and what the latest available firmware version is. In this case, as you can see down here by the available firmware up to dates, there's only one listed which means that we're on one previous to the most current version. If you're further back than that, then in this area they'll be listed one after the other in a row and you can just click on update to latest version now and it will start with the oldest one and install them all in a series until it gets to the newest one and then you'll be on the current version. It's usually a good idea before you update to make a configuration backup. So we'll do that real quick. So all you have to do is go over on the left under management to backup and restore. And then under the backup and restore tab, we want to create a backup. So we'll just leave everything default. We don't have to put a comment in if you don't want to and then we just click create backup now and that backup file is generated but it's just stored locally on the system so for safekeeping we should download a copy of it to our local machine in case something goes horribly wrong with the firmware update then we're able to quickly restore from the backup and we'll be back up and running so to do that you just click this little blue download button it offers you a choice to encrypt before downloading if you're going to be storing this somewhere where other people might have access to it, it may be a good idea to do that. For this demo, we're not going to, so we'll just download a copy. And we'll just save it in our downloads. Now that we've got our backup file, we can go ahead with our firmware update. So we'll go back over to Up to Date. And then all we'll need to do is click Update to Latest Version Now. It will let you know that it started, and then you'll get a pop-up that lets you follow along with the progress. So we'll go ahead and dismiss that, and then we'll go back to our progress window, and then I'll actually show the console of the firewall so we can keep an eye on it and see what it's doing. So up in the top left, you can see the uh, firewall console, so we'll be able to tell when it reboots. So we'll just wait for this to process, and then we'll come back after it's finished. Okay, now we can see the installation was successful and the firewall should now reboot. So it's safe to close out of this window now. And then if we keep an eye on the firewall console in the top left, we should see it reboot here in a minute. Okay, firewall has rebooted. And if you're within close physical proximity to whatever device is running the firewall and it has a system speaker, you'll hear a series of beeps letting you know that it's fully rebooted. Now we'll want to refresh the page with web admin and log back in. And we see in our version information, there's no more red notification, and our version number now matches the current latest version number. If we click on the blue play button here, we can go back to that section, and it confirms that your firmware is up to date, and there are no more available firmware updates. Okay, well that's all there is to updating the firmware of Sophos UTM9. If you have any questions and would like to open a paid support case, our contact information is in the video description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.